It's been a little cooler day as far as weather's been concerned, but some big matchups already unfolding. We have the quarterfinals stacked and ready to go for the Quicksilver Pro. And now we have the same plan for the best women in the world, starting with round four, heat number one. During the break, Potts, we got a start from Courtney. Yeah, Courtney off to a good start. And uh, she's going to be really concentrating hard on this heat, Joe. This is world title implications right here. If Courtney fumbles, Carissa can go on to make a semi-final and steal that jersey back. So Courtney knows that. She's got a tough heat ahead of her. Tyler Wright opens her account as well. Tyler goes down, unfortunately, on that wave. Tyler setting up a solid one out the back. A lot of white water to deal with as she's still thinking about the open face and now deciding to kick out. Next yeah. wave setting up for Courtney. Conlog putting herself in a bit better position right in front of Tyler Wright. She'll hammer it off the top. Great connection for a big first turn. Oh. Going for a massive foam climb. She'll eject. Good for one move. No, he just uh, flings it up there. This is Tyler Wright from Australia. Lay back, jam to start. Plenty open face with a lot of speed. Full roundhouse cutback, slams the rebound. Into this inside section, you can kind of see the backwash starting to show up. And she'll hop out. See Courtney Conlog now with a nine point total. 5 3 3, 3 6 7. Tyler turning in her best wave so far. Gibbons on the final. Now it's California versus Hawaii as we check out Tyler's last win. Yeah, that trademark layback snap there from Tyler. Look how much power she puts into her turns. I mean, this is a sort of a big slopey wave, so pretty hard to set that rail. Tyler Wright just gets her feet in that spot. Fun looking glassy wall setting up for a forehand. Conlog driving through, will pull in just for a moment. Lip lands on her head and she'll end up out the back. Wow. I haven't really seen too many barrels today. It's been more maneuvers. Well, Tyler wants to keep moving. Sets up the first turn. Little forehand gouge. Now up front. High line off the top. Running after a big section now. Greets it with a clean snap. Tyler now out of there into the flats. Starting to build on her score line. Hunting down Conlog to take on last year's Rookie of the Year, Joanne DeFay. This is Conlog now. Quick to answer. A lot of momentum. Solid snap under the lip. Keeping the flow going down the line. It's a quick wave. Two maneuvers. Hef and Tracy like it. Game face is on for both of them. Nice opening turn here from Courtney. She just really lays into that turn right there. Both Courtney and Tyler. Famous for those layback snaps. Big rail turns from both young ladies. Two of the most powerful women on tour. So we're going to skip B. Remember, she suffered from a round two loss at Lower Trestles as it baked basically a local lineup for Courtney, so she had something to prove. That she did, but I'll tell you what, she came up against Tyler Wright, who was in sizzling form. I mean, she was in that world title race, and I'll tell you what, she was well and truly on her way. Dropping nine-point rides left, right, and center in that final. I think it was previous ride. Keeps her in second place. Conlaw got a 7-5 for the two-turn combo. Courtney's up again. Layback carve, she'll slip off on the opening maneuver. They had a quick chat. First, let's get into Courtney's last win. Yeah, Courtney jamming that turn right there. I think the wave kind of went a bit slopey. I think that's hard starting to affect it. I think she was waiting for that wave to stand up. And now for Tyler Wright, still looking for a 5-7-7. A lot of open face. There's that little layback jam to start. Now big rip in the open face. Right now looks to throw that high line wrap into the pocket. Now it's just trimming through inside corner. She'll sneak in a forehand wrap, turns around to see Courtney's attempt. Courtney a little stumble. So just reset with a little fade into the pocket. Now looking to really perform on the inside. She'll just redirect and kick her way out of there. We'll find out if Conlog had anything major on the opening section. It's a 5.33. Let's have a look. Tyler Wright. Draws off the bottom here, jams it in the pocket right there. Didn't quite extend that back leg. This turn right there, that was the money shot right there for cut for Tyler. And again, that big wraparound cut back into the white water. So three strong turns for Tyler Wright and then finishes off with some rail work. Maximizes the scoring potential. So uh, Tyler Wright really opening up. Courtney Conlock, big turn off the top as well. Big bottom turn into that slicing maneuver. Super strong on her feet, and then this wave kind of went that 
little wobble right there. A lot of backwash starting to affect the wave. And uh, both Courtney and Tyler have got to be well aware of that. Go. Tyler does have priority and will take this wave off Courtney. A lot of speed to start. Now looking for that layback jam one more time. Handles it through the backwash. Nice tight high line carve. A lot of water moving out front. She'll get a quick arc. And then falls on the rebound section on the inside. Confidence. Let's have a look at this wave right here. Opens up with a beautiful layback gouging maneuver. I love this turn right here. She snaps it all the way back around. Puts herself right in that uh, power source. Look at the bump and lump on the face of the wave there. That tide starting to really affect this wave and make things a little trickier. Losing in the round before the quarters to a longtime rival in Tyler Wright. As the results repeat themselves from last year's Roxy Pro. That time it was a final and Tyler will move into the quarters to take on Joanne DeFay.